Hey Leo, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please remember to flip and switch the roles, guys. Could be talking about someone else in your energy. Also remember to just take what resonates and leave what does not fit for your situation. Okay, let's see. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, please return any spell work, any dark magic sent to harm the collective and their loved ones, me and my loved ones. Please return it back to the sender. Thank you so much. So let's see, let's tap in, Leo. Let's see, and give me a clear, honest, and accurate message to Spirit Guys Angels for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Let's see what um, angel is guiding you on your path. Okay, Leo, let's see. Okay, so we have number five. Somebody can have a Sagittarius Jupiter, or that is uh, Jupiter, that is Sagittarius. So you got Sagittarius in your chart. You could be dealing with another fire sign. But it says to chill, bringer of prosperity and abundance. Okay, prestige, feeling good, opulence, splendor, hope, wealth, generosity, and luck. Okay, I hope you tune into the higher octaves of abundance to magnify the good things in life. Wow, so you could need the crystal gold. Okay, something could be happening on Thursday and then we have manifested. Okay, period. Yeah, something that you're working on. You got Virgo in your chart, um, Leo with um this judeo angel of work and confidence so there is something here that you're manifesting or that you're working on okay and you feel really good about it or it's going to be it's going to be really um it's going to bring in a lot of abundance for you here uh leo all right so i feel like luck is on your side with this jupiter energy things are changing for the better things are looking up for you okay definitely okay so money is Coming in, I, I hear the money. I see the money, <laughs> Leo. Something good is coming. All right, so let's see. Clarify this energy here. Let's see what's going on, though. For Leo, spirit, clarify what is going on here for Leo, please. Yeah, you lit. <laughs> Turned up, partying, amazing, cool, exciting. Something or someone is popping off. Yeah, it's you. Okay, Leo, you on, you on your shit. It says copying your style. Yeah, you're a trendsetter. Okay, period. Yeah, there's this ninth house, Sagittarius energy. Then we have happiness. So definitely something by Thursday maybe is going to make you happy. Or you're going somewhere. Maybe you're going out. Some of you guys are hearing a concert or something like that. I don't know. I just feel like you feel really good or you're going to be feeling really good by Thursday or, you know, timing is fluid into row. So it could be happening by Thursday, next week, two weeks from now, a month from now, whatever. But it says copying your style. Someone likes how you dress, talk, look, etc. so much that they try to act like you. Yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised. You live a lit ass fucking life. Just period. Yeah, Earth Angel. <laughs> Someone good and pure with honest intentions, kind hearted, keeps it real. Yeah, you're on your, you're on your path here. Yep, woke. Wow. Being aware, knowing what's going on in the community and humanity. Bottom of the deck is distorted masculine. So you could be dealing with the masculine energy that's distorted. That's a fucking psycho around you. This person here is... They're not sorry for nothing that they do. This person abuses their position of authority. They abuse their power. Okay, let me put that back like this. Yeah, they're mad. They're mad because you're glowing up here. Somebody's doing something for the clout or they have their name in your mouth for clout. And I feel like somebody here wants to do something that you're doing, but they, they suck at it because it's not their fucking path. A lot of y'all are definitely earth angels here that are watching. So you're in your purpose. You're doing what spirit is calling you to do. Some of you guys have a spiritual practice here that's bringing in a lot of abundance because you're on, you're on your path. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> right? So this person seems a little bit mad. That's fine, bitch. We all get mad sometimes, so suck it up. <laughs> suck it the fuck up. So let's see. What is this lit card right here? What is this lit card right here for Leo? What's lit for Leo spirit, please? Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, Ace of Pentacles, I feel like that's you. It could be a Sagittarius around you getting bad karma. 
there's been a lot of delays and setbacks in your path. Okay, I'm getting Leo. All right, you've been set back and delayed a lot, okay, by somebody else or just by a lot of things that has happened, maybe the decisions that you've made. But I feel like things are looking up for you and somebody else is getting bad karma because somebody just doesn't want to let you live your life. They don't want to let you be lit. They don't want to let you be this amazing, cool, excited-ass person, enthusiastic-ass person. Somebody's like mad and they're getting karma. They're getting, there's some like bad karma coming in or something is not turning out in someone's favor. Just period. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this is somebody that's weak as fuck. They're a deadbeat. They're a loser. This person here is lazy as fuck. They're dependent. They're dependent, whoever the fuck this is. Whoever this distorted masculine is, this person is psychotic. And this is why they ask is getting bad karma because they are psychotic. They don't want to get the help they need. <laughs> and they need to get some help. Yeah. So, Knight of Pentacles in reverse is definitely somebody that you can't rely on. This person, they could have a gambling problem or somebody has a problem with their money. Okay, let's see. What else for lit spirit? Yeah, Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. You got Virgo on your chart. So, it's something here that you're working on. You're very focused on it. I feel like you're you're definitely, you've mastered something about yourself, within yourself, but also with your work here. You're definitely building. You're building, I feel like you're focused. Some of you guys could be in school, you're taking up a class, you're in training for something, but I feel like you're very focused. Whatever you do for work, you're really paying attention to the details of things here. Okay. So I feel like whatever this is, it looks good for you. Some of you guys could have a new uh, stream of income coming in or new employment. Some of y'all could have just gotten a new job or you're studying something. But I'm definitely getting um, your money looks good. Okay, it's going to look really good. But there's something that you need to work on. Put that work in for it. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, somebody's in competition with you because they're the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And you're the fucking Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> the moon just moved into Sagittarius too. That's crazy. So maybe Sagittarius is just really, really, it matters. Okay, you need to go watch Sagittarius' reading maybe. So what's the Wheel of Fortune in reverse spirit for Leo? Yeah, Nine of Swords. Mm -hmm. Somebody is like... Somebody is jealous of you, boy. They jealous. But the Nine of Swords might have a Gemini Mars. This is like somebody here that can't sleep. They're depressed. They're they're worried or they're they're anxious. They know that they're getting this karma. There's karma coming to somebody that they're nervous about because they know it's coming. This person here is is probably drinking a lot. They're smoking a lot. They're partying a lot or something like that to kind of like mask whatever this is that they're going through. This person could be very violent or they 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 just display violent behavior. They they have some type of mental instability. Okay, this person. Mm, what's this Knight of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, Seven of Wands in reverse. Somebody could have a, a Leo Mars here. But the Seven of Wands in reverse talks about somebody here that just wants the respect of a lot of people, but they don't get any. Somebody here lacks morals, values, integrity. Okay, I feel like you lost respect for somebody. This is somebody here that you are failing to compromise with. This person here does not want to, they're, they're failing to compromise with you. This, this person, they think everything is a competition. Whoever this is, it could be very competitive, but they're lazy, they're broke. They don't have any drive or ambition, good work ethic. They're lazy. They could be trying to steal your ideas or steal something that you're doing here. Yeah, they're looking and learning from you. Page of Swords. You know, somebody is watching you and they're trying to like master something that you're doing. But I feel like you've got a lot of self-mastery. You're, you have something in you that this person does not. And this person needs to figure out what it is that they need to work on. Okay, I thought I heard somebody at my door. What's this, um... <laughs> so I feel like they're kind of like surrendering or something. They're, they're close to burnout. They're weak. They can't keep up with you. Whatever the fuck it is that you're doing. What's the Eight of Pentacles? <laughs> What's the Eight of Pentacles? Yeah, Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, they're working on something, but they don't have the creativity. Their creativity is blocked. Somebody's having an, an intuitive and creative blockage here. Or this could be... Somebody here has mastered manipulation, deception, treating other people horribly. Because they want to have this kind of lifestyle that they really fucking don't. And I feel like that's being exposed. Somebody could be on the Aquarius, Pisces, cuss with the Knight of Cups in reverse. 
Yeah, Nine of Wands in reverse. Somebody gonna have a Sag Moon. Yeah, this is somebody here that keeps doing something over and over and over again. They have not learned their mistakes. Somebody has not learned from the past here. Nine of Wands in reverse. They keep doing something. And like I said, once again, another card of somebody that's failing to compromise with you. This person can't even keep up with you. They are, they're stuck. Yeah, Six of Swords in reverse. They're trying to master something, or maybe y'all do the same thing. Y'all are in the same field, and this person here, they suck at what they're doing, and you're working proudly, peacefully, you're focused, but whoever this is, they, this is like unrequited love as well, so this person here could be wanting to bring some type of offer to you, or they have in the past, and I feel like they have not learned, but it's just to see what you're doing, how you're working, how you're moving, so they can copy off of you is what I'm getting. Yeah, whoever this is, this could be your child's father for some of you. This is your fucking child's father or your damn own daddy, your father, or some type of masculine. Yeah, King of Swords in Rebirth, some type of masculine in your life that's emotionally and mentally abusive or manipulative. <laughs> Somebody is, they tripping. I feel like you're teaching somebody. Somebody's learning from you and they're trying to claim it as their own. I feel like whatever they're trying to do, they, they, this person is, they are tripping for real. But let's see, what's copying your style here? They're obsessed. They're obsessed with what you do. Knight of Cups in reverse. Somebody here just wants to show that they're committed to something and they're not. They're, they're putting on a front as if they're so focused, they're working, they're committed, but really they're the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This person has nothing going on for themselves. They're trying to act like they live this lit-ass life, but they don't. They're struggling. This person is struggling, like, for real. And they're close to burnout. It's, it's like, about to be time for this person to let it go, let this tough-ass exterior go, or stop acting like you're something that you're not. Somebody is fake as hell. Yeah, thank you, Spirit. Eight of Cups in reverse. Somebody got a Pisces Saturn. So this is like faking happiness. And it's because they're inauthentic. They're not who they're supposed to be. Eight of Cups in reverse. So they keep trying to do something that's just not working. It's not their path. It's not what they're supposed to be doing. Or they can't get something that they like to do off the ground because they're, they're blocked because of something that they did to you or whatever. Or what they keep doing to multiple people. So the Eight of Cups in Reverse, yeah, it's, it talks about insecurity. It talks about uh, low self-esteem, abandonment issues, fear of abandonment. Somebody here that's faking their happiness or staying stuck and stagnant. Okay, this this person is Ace of Cups. Yeah, it needs to be more self-love being brought into a situation because, you know, yeah, King of Swords in Reverse. Somebody could be an Aquarius Capricorn Cusper. So I'm just getting, yeah, somebody here just wants to be a fake-ass, false-ass leader. They want to feel like they have control here. This person, they the reason why they can't copy you, they would never be able to anyway. But one of the main reasons why is because this person here is so out of tune with themselves. They're inauthentic. King of Swords in Reverse. They judge everybody. They're very judgmental. They could have judged you harshly, judged you wrong. And now you're up and you're doing whatever the fuck you got to do because you're on the right path. Now they're mad. This person is mad because you're doing what you're supposed to be doing and you're moving on from their sorry ass. You don't want nothing to do with them. They're a liar. They're a pathological liar. Somebody here that's trying to control you here. So, with the Ace of Cups, this person could be in love with you or something like that. Or you could have new love coming in for you. Or you're just really pouring into yourself at this time. You're very creative. I feel like there's a lot of fertility here. So, you could be creating. You're growing here day by day. And somebody here is mad. They could be very bitter. Very mean-spirited. Whoever the fuck this is. They could be gossiping, talking shit about you. And it's because they want to be just like you. This person is crazy. <laughs> What's the Eight of Cups in Reverse spirit for Leo? Yeah, Four of Swords in Reverse. Libra, Jupiter. Somebody here just doesn't want to receive help. They don't want to receive help. This person here is struggling to be real with themselves and about themselves and, and all that. They just... King of Cups in reverse. Somebody stays depressed. They're moody. This could be somebody in your family, though. It doesn't have to be somebody you have children with. But I feel like they're upset. They're depressed. They're mad about this, this relationship that's broken up. I feel like it's dysfunctional anyways, but they like dysfunction. There's something going on with this person's emotions. They don't, they're very emotionally immature. They're unavailable emotionally. They can't give you what you want anyways. You're being protected from this person with this Sagittarian energy, the temperance here. 
this person got a lot of shit going on. Yeah, somebody from your past that keeps thinking about you. They miss you. They want to reconcile with you. But this contract is over. The love is in reverse. This person here won't take accountability for their actions. But they miss you, though. It's like, what the fuck? Four swords in reverse. Somebody that's ref uh, they're refusing help. They're refusing counseling. They're losing faith or they're losing hope and something and i just feel like i mean buddy you should have been doing that because it's like something was never going to happen anyways but i feel like they had high hopes whoever the fuck this is what's the ace of cups this person's emotions and feelings are repressed there's a lot of repressed trauma is what i'm getting they're oppressed or they were being taught to like shut up stop crying or they were they could have been abused as a child for some of you What's this Ace of Cups? Or this is you. I'm sorry if that happened. What's the Ace of Cups? I'm sorry if that happened. Yeah. I'm sorry if that happened to them too. Nobody should be abused. And this is why a lot of people act out like this. Because they have been hurt really bad. And they don't know how to heal from it. But it's because they're choosing. I feel like they're choosing to keep staying a victim. It's like time to kind of like... You know, but I can't tell nobody how to heal, right? I really can't. It's like when you are, you're abused, I don't know what that feels like. So I can't... Well, I do. Okay, I can't say that I don't. But it's different kind of abuse that takes... It's a... There's an impact on different kind of people, right? So it's different. I can't tell nobody what to do. So moving on. <laughs> Capricorn energy with the devil in reverse. So yeah, there is um something toxic here that I feel like you're moving away from. It's this person. Yeah, Seven of Swords. Something has came out about them. And I feel like they just are in denial about the fact that they need to work on something within themselves. This person could be a better person or they have potential to be a good person if they fucking work on themselves. This person here does not want to do the fucking work. They don't. And they keep trying to come up against you and failing every fucking time. And I feel like they're getting tired, though. They're getting tired because this karma is going to whoop their ass. That's what's happening here. This person is, is really, really falling apart. Nine of Wands in reverse. Seven of Wands in reverse. Somebody here could be sick. They don't even have the energy to work to create anything to focus or anything what's the um king of swords in reverse I feel like yeah you've taken your power back from this person what's the king of swords in reverse yeah two of pentacles in reverse this person i was gonna say they could be very materialistic somebody could have a capricorn um jupiter so yeah, this is like money going, like I, I just heard money going down the drain or somebody's money is, they're unorganized, they're all over the place. Definitely somebody here that can't think straight, with somebody's mental is fucked up. They're having a hard time thinking, making decisions. But there is a lie or something that they keep juggling that I feel like is coming out. They can't hold it in anymore or they can't fucking keep up with it it's like something here's imbalanced they're thrown off they can't keep up with this lie yeah so now they're going into hermit mode it could be a virgo it doesn't have to be or this is you the hermit with the hierophant the justice wow <laughs> yeah it's in the wands yeah karma this is karma for somebody yeah they're being exposed this person with the leo energy with the sun yeah, it's like they can't keep up with something anymore. They can't keep juggling. They can't keep being authentic. They can't keep hiding who they really are. It's like it's time for this person to grow the fuck up. Yeah, it is. And they keep resisting. It's time for this person to awaken, to open up their heart chakra to like stop being so hateful. Whoever the fuck this is is hateful as fuck towards you and everybody that they feel like is better than them. And I feel like, bitch, if you think that, then that's your fucking problem. Somebody here needs to grow up. What's this earth angel right here for Leo? Yeah, Six of Swords in reverse. I feel like this is you standing your fucking ground. You can have an Aquarius Mercury or somebody does around you maybe, but this is you standing your ground. You're not backing down either. Somebody here could have been trying to keep you stuck or somebody's like trying to come back or cause you trouble. Six of Swords in reverse. Somebody has been really trying to cause you drama, trouble, all type of shit. Yeah, the Empress. To the fucking Empress, somebody has lost their mind. Taurus, Libra energy. Somebody could be trying to keep you stuck, stop you from creating, stop you from manifesting, stop you from being abundant or whatever. Somebody here could have trapped you with a child. Just, you could have a child with this person. They just, I don't know. You're the full Aquarius energy. Yeah, this is you standing your ground and taking, you know, taking back your power. Definitely breaking free of something. Um, uh, Leo. Oh, the fool, you could have Aquarius in your chart or somebody does, but 
the fool is breaking free. This is like spontaneity, adventurous, being adventurous, being, you know, taking a risk, having a new beginning. Yeah. So you broke free of somebody's ass. What's the six of swords in reverse? Four of wands in reverse. Yeah, somebody is stuck. Aries, Venus. Somebody can have an Aries, Venus here. So there's some type of dysfunctional family unit or some type, some type of fake ass supporter that you have around you. This person does not support you here. They, they really don't. It's fake support. They don't fuck with anything that you do. Okay, they just want to leech off of you. I feel like this person is a moocher. They're lazy. They don't want to do shit anyway. They're money hungry. They're very materialistic. All they care about is making money. They don't care about how to make it or what kind of work they have to do to make this money. They like the easy way out of shit. And they're mad because you've grown. You're doing something that you like to do. And they're, they're just mad. Some of y'all could be uprooting. You're leaving a home here. You're moving. Or you've been trying to do that. But I feel like somebody's been trying to keep you stuck the whole time. Or slow you the fuck down. Or keep you trapped in a dysfunctional family dynamic. This is like a breakup or uprooting of some sort here. Somebody's just very insecure about their um their root chakra is fucked up. Or they try to keep you insecure. Okay. Or they want to keep you unstable here. There's some type of instability that was here. I feel like you were stuck in. And I feel like now you've grown into the empress. <laughs> or the emperor if you're a man. Yeah, but there's like a breaking of a contract that somebody wanted to keep open or keep you in. Whatever this is, if you live with this person, this person is has been trying to keep you stuck with them, keep you in a home with them, keep you married to them or in a relationship that's dysfunctional. It's a rocky-ass relationship that you have with this person and they just want to... I don't know what the fuck they want to do, but I don't like their intentions, though. They have bad intentions. They're the devil. It's just in reverse now because I feel like you've let it go. You don't give a fuck if they're the devil upright or not. You don't care. What's the, the empress spirit? What's the empress? For some of you, somebody here has been trying to, like, fuck with your following, your follower accounts. So some of you guys' following could be going down. For some of you, you could see they've been trying to, I don't know. They're trying to make you lose fans, supporters, friends, family members. To keep you held back or to... It's like people... They don't want people to support you or see you as an empress. Okay, yeah, the death card. Yeah, it's because they haven't let you go. Scorpio energy. Somebody's resisting change. Or this is where you was at one point in your life, right? But the death card in reverse. Somebody's resisting change or they're scared of change or they don't want to. They don't want to transform. They don't want to do the fucking work. Or they're trying to convince themselves that you're still the same. Yeah, the temperance, but you're just temperance. You're well-balanced. I feel like you're fine, but this is... This is somebody that can't let you go. What's this death card in reverse? The Ten of Pentacles. Somebody can have a Virgo uh, Mercury. So this could be somebody in your family here. Somebody sees you as long term. They want to be committed to you. But I feel like what they see is money. Okay. I feel like really what they see is money now. Because I feel like they know that they can't get a relationship with you. They know that you're not interested. They know that you're not investing anymore. Seven of Pentacles. So yeah, Queen of Wands in reverse. They're jealous. They're they're mean hearted. They're very very. They're this is a nasty person that really wants you back, but they will never act like it. This person acts an ass. Ten of Pentacles here is inheritance, is wealth, is abundance, is prosperity. I feel like somebody here knows that you're going to get this here. You're creating something nice. Some of y'all could even be getting married, but you had to end a contract with this person to get this. And I feel like you've ended it and you're going to get it anyway. You're going into a new beginning. And this is why somebody here don't want, doesn't want to let you go because you're building something. You're building a legacy. You're building an empire. This could be a business here, but you're definitely getting this money though, this period. And it's meant for you. This is your legacy. This is a part of your, this is what's going to be here forever. So I just feel like somebody here needs to get with the program, bitch. Start acting like you got some fucking sense. You know what I'm saying? Somebody here is a loser. They don't want to, like, act right. And I just feel like you don't have time for this shit, really. You know? But you're getting this money anyway, though. I just feel like somebody here is holding on to you. Somebody in your family. Somebody that sees that you're abundant, you're glowing. And they feel like you they're entitled to something that you're getting. And they're not, bitch. They will never be. They should never feel like that to begin with. What's the fool? The page of wands, yeah, some of you guys are really working on something creative. 
there's something here. You have a new project that you're working on. Definitely, I'm seeing good news coming in for you. Definitely a lot of fertility here. So you're, you're fertile right now. So this could be the start of a family for you. Or this could be the start of a business, a project, or something like that. That somebody is missing out on with the star in reverse. There's a risk here that you're needing to take as far as the business goes. Or this is a risk from somebody. They're going to reach out to you here. This person could be married. They have an end of the marriage here. But they just moved out or separated is what I'm getting for some of you. And they just moved out or separated. But they have not ended something with somebody else. Yeah, six of wands in reverse. What's this page of wands right here? What's this page of wands for Leo spirit? Yeah, three of pentacles. Yeah, something about your work, boy. Yeah. You're being guided and protected on your journey, too. Three of Pentacles gives me archangels. It's spirit, guys. God, it gives me your spirit team. Somebody can have a Capricorn Mars. So, yeah, I'm getting a contract of some sort that's coming in, or you're getting ready to collab with other people, or there's a project that you're working on that's going to bring about abundance, okay? It's something that you're doing here that you're meant to do, and it's going to bring you this Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, it is swords in reverse. You have to escape something or leave something behind, though, or this bitch needs to leave you the fuck alone. Mm -hmm. so this is like teamwork some of y'all getting ready to get married to somebody that's a boss or you're getting ready to partner up with somebody that you're going to marry long term and this person's going to help you work or something like that you're going to help them do something that they want to do they're going to help you it's like y'all supposed to be working together or something right There could be something that you're resisting, okay? There's a need to kind of like... What else? What's this death card in reverse right here for Leo? Let me see. What's the death card in reverse? The two of wands. Okay, so it could be that you're needing to leave your comfort zone here. There's a need to take a risk and do something. It's going to lead into something nice. But you, there's something you need to change or re-strategize or replan. It could be that you're you're comfortable is what I'm getting with this. Somebody could have an Aries Mars, but it's time to take action or make a decision about something, make a choice. Two of Wands is planning, is strategizing. So maybe put a plan in place. Okay, it's time for you to like plan something. What's this death card in reverse with this two of wands? Some of you guys are, are planning to move. Maybe you're needing to move. I don't know, we'll travel to maybe gain some more inspiration. You know, when you change your scenery, you get inspired by new people, new things. A new scenery really helps. This could be about a partnership too. Some of y'all are needing to end a partnership that you're resisting or you're trying not to end or you haven't let go completely. What's the death card in reverse with the two of wands? Yeah, can it come to reverse? Yeah, it's this other person. For some of you, it's this damn, whoever this is is still sad as fuck in your energy. They've been exposed already. Some of y'all need to let this person go. Same shit I got for uh, Capricorn. I think Capricorn or Pisces or something like that. King of Cups in reverse is, is there's an emotionally unavailable person in your energy still or somebody that keeps trying to gaslight you. You could be traumatized by a gaslighter. Somebody that's trying to hurt you here. Somebody that's very mean or somebody is still leeching on your energy. They're very depressed or sad. Or for some of you, this person is married. King of Cups in reverse is somebody that's married that they won't let you go. Or this is somebody that you need to let go of. You need to mourn this and go towards your happiness. Okay. Remove yourself from this person. What's this King of Cups in reverse doing? What are they doing? What's the King of Cups in reverse doing? It's, yeah. Queen of Cups in reverse. A karmic couple. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. They, it's time to move on. The chariot with the ace of pentacles. It's time to move on to something new. So if they were coming back, if they're gonna they reach out to you or whatever, I feel like you have a choice to make, and I feel like you're gonna choose, or you're needing to you're you're choosing to turn your back with the two of wands and moving forward, planning for your future ahead. You're not going back to the past. This person here doesn't want to change. They're still stuck with these karmics or whatever the fuck. So I feel like you need to stop investing in this hell or stop thinking about it or something, you know? Because they with somebody that they're depressed with they're upset with like I, I don't know they they with somebody else and i feel like these people here they don't want to let your energy go or something like that what's this king of cups in reverse with this queen of cups in reverse doing what are they doing what is going on with these hoes <laughs> yeah to a, a dysfunctional ass abusive ass relationship For some of you, this is you and this person. Somebody here brings out your shadow side. You can't, you give too much to this person. You overextend to this person. I feel like you don't trust them anymore anyways, but definitely 
you know, this is you and this person. You guys both, this person brings out the darker side of you. They don't help you grow or anything. They keep you stuck. Okay, I feel like um, you and this person broke up or y'all had a relationship, but y'all are not in union. Y'all are separated. You don't see eye to eye. This could have been an abusive relationship here for some of you. But for others of you, this is this person. They're still stuck in this karmic relationship with this karmic. They're karmic. This person is karmic. They all karmic. And I feel like you're being protected. Somebody missed their opportunity. Eight of Wands in reverse. They missed their opportunity. So it's time for you to clearly decide if you want to keep going backwards to this or you want to move forward. And I feel like this person here, they chose where they wanted to be. So I feel like you need to do the same and move on. <laughs> Real shit. Somebody's distorted. They're distorted and they're not in that right state of mind. Yeah, you and this person could be clashing. Y'all don't see eye to eye. And they're already with somebody else that just... They ain't already got some shit going on. They really ain't got shit to do with you, really. What's the woke card right here for Leo? Three of Swords, yeah. You could be heartbroken a bit. Somebody could have a Libra Saturn. Okay. Or somebody is somebody is heartbroken around you that you've moved on. You've left their ass. Yeah, the star in reverse, Aquarius energy and the sun. Yeah, Leo energy. Something has been exposed. I feel like you're, you're clear about something. You see something very clear. Okay. Um, something has been exposed, just period. The star in reverse talks about hopelessness, despair, feeling lost, having a hard time healing from something. I feel like you got bored or you lost hope in something. So you went towards your happiness or you're going to. Yeah, somebody knows that they lost big time. Page of Cups in reverse, Six of Wands in reverse. Somebody is fucked up. All right, somebody here could be in a lustful, promiscuous energy. Somebody is, somebody sleeps around with a lot of people. There's somebody here that does this to this person or somebody was doing this shit to you and they know that they lost big time because they fed into their addictions or whatever the fuck this was. Somebody here could be fame hungry. I'm the, Yeah, with the page of cups in reverse because they're envious, they're jealous. So somebody is fame hungry. They want it to be seen, heard, validated or whatever. Yeah. Page of Pentacles. Now somebody is stuck with a child. For some of you, somebody has had a child and now they're stuck with this person. They have to take care of them and everything else because they wanted to slang their dangalang or slang their vagina all over the fucking world. And now it's backfiring. What's the Three of Swords? Yeah, the Hermit, Virgo energy. So this talks about going within, healing, soul searching, or now somebody's trying to do this shit here when it's too fucking late. Yeah, I feel like that's you. You went within and did the work here because you healed. Eight of Swords in reverse is you coming out of despair, coming out of feeling restricted, trapped, stuck. You overcame some type of obstacle, some type of, it could be abuse for some of you. It could be mental or emotional. Okay, yeah, a secret has came out about this person. So you overcame this. Now somebody trying to go hide out or whatever the fuck. What's this hermit? What's the hermit doing? Yeah, Four of Cups. Yeah, that's you. Four of Cups in reverse. Is you seizing an opportunity. Somebody could have a cancer moon. You seizing an opportunity. You're not missing any more opportunities. You moved on. Whatever was at a stalemate. You went within. You did the work. You healed your broken heart. And you're moving on. Just period. Now somebody else is sad. They're sad because you don't give a fuck. And they missed their opportunity with you. From acting like a fucking fool. Or they could have been with somebody that's your copycat. Somebody wanted to be just like you. Okay. And they're stuck with that person. They're stuck with a, a off-brand version of you. How pathetic. What's the star in reverse? Yeah. Yeah, somebody wanted to be famous. They wanted to be seen as somebody that's just, I don't know, but whoever this is, is a fame hungry ass person. They want the fame. They want the attention. This person has a big ass ego, but they're really insecure. Deep down inside, they're insecure. I feel like they're bored. They feel like they don't have any purpose in life. Whoever the fuck this is. You know, six of wands in reverse is definitely... It could be some type of treacherous energy as well. This person has some kind of like ill intent towards you anyways. You know, and it's been exposed. This shit is exposed. Some of y'all are in school. Ace of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, or you're thinking about taking up a, a training course or something. You're learning something. Some of you guys could do something in divination. You do something where you're making a lot of money. It's spiritual. For some of you guys, it's spiritual. But for others of you, this is just you. You have a new career, pay raise coming in. Good news as far as your finances goes. But you're glowing up here, just period. Y'all ass getting ready to be rich somewhere. Yeah. What's the sun? 
Okay, yeah, four of pentacles. Somebody could be a Capricorn. Then we have the king of wands. So somebody could be seen as somebody that's very greedy, very selfish, very controlling. Something is getting exposed about someone. Somebody is penny pinching. They're insecure about their money. Okay. This person is so prideful. They don't want to let this image of themselves go either. With the King of Wands energy, I'm just getting somebody that's prideful. Okay. For some of you guys, you're going into a relationship maybe with the King of Wands. Or this is you, Leo. This is your own self. Some of y'all are saving for something. You're saving for a big purchase or you're saving to do something here. It could be for children. Some of y'all are saving to build a life here, build a family or something like that. But I see happiness, a victory, success here. What's the um, four of pentacles right here then? What's the four of pentacles? Okay, yeah, the tower. King of pentacles, yeah, the justice. Some of y'all, somebody could be a paralegal, you're an officer or you work in the military or you do something. But I'm getting with the tower though, Aries energy. Something that somebody is trying to hold on to is going to come out. It's going to be exposed. So I don't know what the fuck this is. <laughs> so the way that somebody carries themselves, their 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 money, it's like they want to make it seem like they have this, they have that, but they really don't. They're, somebody is, is going to come out. The tower talks about destruction or things falling apart. Definitely a shocking event or something that's surprising in front of a bunch of people, six of wands in reverse, whoever this is that they had to go against you is going to come out in front of them. Now they're trying to hide. They're trying to hide or get away from something. What's the king of wands? Who's this king of wands right here? Yeah, three of wands. Yeah, somebody ain't got nowhere to run now. Could be an Aries with the three of wands in reverse. Somebody is stuck. They're confused. Three of Wands in reverse is somebody that feels restricted or they're still stuck on the past. Or they can't move. They're experiencing some type of delays. <laughs> what else for the King of Wands with the Three of Wands in reverse? It's like this person, they can't go anywhere. They, they're surrounded. They can't move. And it's because there's they're, you're letting the community know what this person did to you in a way or... It's something here that's just coming out about this person because now is their time to be exposed. Just period. They shouldn't have did what the fuck they did. What's the King of Wands with the Three of Wands in reverse? Yeah. Ten of Swords in reverse. Somebody here could be a Gemini. Six of Cups. Yeah, Seven of Swords in reverse. Yeah, something is definitely being revealed here. Now somebody, somebody is trying to run away. This person is trying to run away from their inner child wounds as well. Their problems, their addictions, their whatever the fuck this is. They could be using kids to cover up something about themselves or something like that. But I feel like this, so for some of you, a child is going to expose something about this person. Okay, what's, let me see. What's this Ten of Swords in reverse so we can move on? What's this Ten of Swords in reverse? Yeah, Ace of Swords is lies. Whatever the fuck this is, the worst is yet to come for this person. Usually the Ten of Swords in reverse is overcoming something. But the worst is yet to come for them because I feel like they're trying to cover up a lie or cover up something that they were trying to do here. It's coming out. It's just only in a matter of time. They can keep up, keep looking like whatever, how they looking. Something is getting ready to come out. I feel like a bunch of lies are being exposed. Definitely somebody here that's having a hard time being able to think straight. This person can't brainstorm. They can't figure out what to do next. They're lost, whoever the fuck this is. And that's because God got them in a chokehold. Yeah. Leo energy with the, the Hierophant, the strength card with the Hierophant. Yeah, now they want to reconcile. Now they want to fix something. The Ace of Swords in reverse is a hostile. This person is very hostile towards you. They could have been very combative, trying to argue with you, fight with you, pick with you, fuck with your mind. This person, and I feel like it's coming out, just period. The secret or whatever this, uh, this... This is that they've been trying to keep up with or whatever this exterior is that they've been trying to withhold. I mean, um, show to the world, bitch, it's coming out. Yeah, this person, karma is on that ass. And they know it's coming too with that nine of swords right there with this wheel of fortune in reverse. Yeah, now they're trying to run. <laughs> they're trying to run. They're trying to get away. I feel like that's funny. Yeah, you wanted all this attention. High key. Always drawing attention. Very obvious. Assertive. Very public. Yeah, big mad for the clout. For the clout. Fake flexing. Yeah, whistleblower. 
Second house, Taurus energy here. Jealous, yeah, narcissist. This person is mad. They're mad that you broke up with them. With this picture right here, with this cracked glass on it. Yeah, they're projecting all this negative-ass energy on you. And I feel like you took the high road. You took the high road here. You, don't, you do not give a fuck about what this person got going on here. Yeah, they tried it. They really tried it with you. Um, Leo, they're mad because you came up and they did not. They can't create anything. So they try to take you out or bring you down or whatever. Whoever this masculine is in reverse, this king of wands, whatever this, whoever the fuck that is. And they with the broke ass bitch. Somebody that's just is, they're in the same, they're dealing with karmics that are the same as them. <laughs> just period. Yeah, cycles. Yeah. Keep going through the same thing. Wake up call, break the cycle, positive change. Yeah, I feel like that's you. You realize something was a cycle or somebody's a damn loser. Yeah, then we have drama. Yeah, so once you broke this cycle, or once you're, you, you know, now that you're trying to break this cycle, now here comes the drama. Petty arguments, wanting to be with you, rushing, give me time, there is no one else. Yeah, this person is saying that there's no one else, but it's really somebody else here that they're with. They just don't want this person. They want you, and I feel like they're mad that you don't want them, or you you probably lied to that ass. You say, you know, there's no one else, da, 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 and they found out, and now they're mad. They're pissed off. It's like, bitch, I don't have to, I don't owe you anything. I don't have to tell you who I'm with. Mind your fucking business. And mind your business. Yeah, father figure, forever love. Yeah, powerless. This person feels hopeless now. They feel powerless that they know you would never want to fuck with them ever to fuck again. They will never get a piece of your money, a piece of your time, a piece of your ass. <laughs> nothing, bitch. Nothing. So it says vacation. I mean, vacation. I want to take you on a romantic trip, just the two of us. Yeah, this person. Okay. Sorry, y'all. So let's see. <sighs> so we have yearning. Missing you, thinking about the good times. I never had someone like you, yeah. <laughs> maybe unsure indecisive yeah i feel like you get a ass and maybe mm, i don't know i'm not sure you was always on a fence about this person <laughs> hey slow down get to know you getting to know you let's see if we're compatible and i feel like you turned this i feel like you could have possibly tried to get this person a chance but they they're fake they're fake and they hid it from you they really had ulterior motives this person here is nasty ass energy they're very controlling. They're very much so a liar. They're always seeking validation. They want something that you're you're getting and they're never going to be able to get it. Frustrated, tired of your shit, stressed out, <laughs> overloaded, burnt out. Yeah, you gave this person a run for their money and they're mad. They're like, damn, you going to move on to somebody else as I'm trying to chase you and get you back? It's like, yeah, bitch. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I fucking am. <laughs> the fuck you mean? Gift, surprise, something you've been wanting and waiting for. <clears throat> Yeah, so you can have something coming to well, Let's see, what's the gift? Can we see what the gift is? Leo. I mean, for Leo. Wedge, yeah. <laughs> a force, third party. Someone interfering, trying to stop someone from moving forward. So this person could be giving you a lot of gifts, a lot of shit to kind of like make up for something that they did to you in the past. They really want you back, whoever the fuck this is. But they're trying to get in the way of this person that you're dating or this new person. It could be somebody new that you're dating or building with or working with. Or whatever. They just want to get in the way. So that's the gift. A wedge. <laughs> a wedge. Somebody trying to get in the way of you and somebody. I'm dead. What else? Or this person could have tried to give you something to cause a wedge between you and somebody else. So we have, yeah, online dating. Good ones and bad ones. Fill them out. Use discernment. Romantic date. Let me take you somewhere nice. I want to please you and show you the feelings I have for you. So you could have met somebody new online. You went out on a date and that's, that was all she wrote. You could be with somebody. Okay. Alone. Solitude, quarantine, withdrawal, contemplation, and antisocial. I feel like you spent a lot of time, Leo, by yourself. And you gave somebody a chance. You could have given an earth angel a chance, your match, your counterpart, or something like that. But somebody that's of light like you are. Y'all have the same pure energy. Y'all have the same good heart. You went out on a date with this person after spending a lot of time. Yeah, single. Thank you, spirit. By yourself, studying yourself, learning, you know, what you don't need to be going towards anymore. What's toxic for you? What's good for you? I feel like you spent a lot of time by yourself. All right. And this person has been trying to get you back the whole time and they failed. You don't want their ass back no more. Just period. What else? So we have letting go. Yeah, it's over. No more drama. No more stress. Time to live again. Just period. 
figuring it out. I know I was wrong. I will fix it and make it right with you. Yeah, now somebody is, wants to make something right with you and figure themselves out and all that. Bitch, please. Yeah, locked up. Street dude. Legal issues, unexpected call being released or no bond. <laughs> somebody here could be going to ass to jail. Then we have sneaky link. I'm passionate about you. I'm ex It's exciting when I'm with you. So yeah, so this person could have tried to make you a sneaky link or now they got their sneaky link involved because now this bitch got to bail them out of jail. It's like, ain't nobody else going to do it. You're not doing it, Leo. If anything, you're probably happy that this person is getting the fuck. <laughs> so, I, I don't know. People are so fucking funny, bro. Yeah. I cannot. <laughs> what else is going on here for it? Damn, 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 Leo. <clears throat> I need to go downstairs to my mailbox, bro. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to see who this is at my door. Oh, it's nobody. Okay. So let's see. What else for Leo Spirit? So we have building, wants to build or start a family with you. Future, they see this relationship for the long term. Glowing, okay, yeah. Lights up whenever near you or someone mentions you. Then we have layers, multiple factors. Divine masculine, yeah, for some of you guys, this is you and you're, you're building something with your divine masculine here. You're with your counterpart for some of you. You're with your counterpart, you're building with this person, you're lit as fuck. You're enjoying your relationship. Your life looks good. I just feel like you're fine. Yeah, you're good. There's multiple layers or factors to some. What's this layers? What's layers? Zen, reorganizing and priorities. Yeah, that's you. So there could have been something here that you needed to figure out or see about something before you could glow up and move forward in your relationship or whatever this is that you're doing for work. There's multiple layers to a situation or you had to peel back some layers to see somebody's true fucking colors because they were fake and, 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 you know, lying to you the whole fucking time about who they were. What else? Flip-flop, changing up on you. <laughs> Inconspicuous, wanting you to stay, but being low key about it. Then we have unsure, communication not clear, hello. So yeah, somebody somebody got frustrated with your ass. They got frustrated with you. I feel like they got mad. This person here got mad at you. They got frustrated. I feel like they've been hiding the fact that they've been wanting you though. Somebody's been hiding the fact that they've been wanting you. But they, you know, it's like you all, you caught whiff of their actions or who they were as a person. It's like, you don't want to be with this person, just period. And they, I feel like they just... You've always been on the fence about it. You never really gave him a chance. And I feel like you know why. I feel like now you know why. Or you're going to figure out why you haven't. Or why you feel this way about this person. Because you know that they're not a match for you. But they feel like you're one for them. It's like, bitch, what? Somebody's delusional. They know. This person knows that y'all are not on the same vibration. Okay. Just period. We have amazed. Looking even better in person than last time. <laughs> then we have paranoid. And then we have ulterior motives. I told you, hiding something. Yeah, this, this person here, child, please. Drama queen. Yeah, this is when this person got exposed, bro. Now Archangel has stepped in to, to protect you from this loser. Because they fucking, this person here is a great pretender. They're a drama queen or drama king. Thirsty, causing chaos. This person here... They got their their ulterior motives came out. They got exposed once you kind of like turned them down or started moving on with your life. Somebody is exposed here, or they're going to be. What's their ulterior motives? What's the ulterior motives? Gamble. About to take a risk to see you. What what else for ulterior motives? Somebody could be a gambler or they have a gambling issue. Commitment. Long term relationship. The great pretender. Still at the bottom of the fucking deck. Crush, sad, yeah. They want to pick something back off, pick something back up where they left off. But I just feel like they, I don't know. And they got problems. What else? They see you in a long-term relationship, so now it's like 
They don't know what to do. Yeah, Divine Masculine, Progression, Slow Progress. And then we have Timeless. Feels like no time was lost. Yeah, this person here. I told you, not 100%, fake as fuck. And then we have Cover Up, trying to prevent the truth from coming out. Yeah, I told you, somebody here is trying to not like show the fact that they're fake as hell. <laughs> they are. They are trying to cover that shit the fuck up, for real. You could be in your in a relationship here with the divine master. I feel like you're in love with this honey right here. Something is very sweet. It's it's savory. <laughs> okay, or it's, it's I don't know. But what's this not one hundred percent and cover up right here? Meeting two or more people discussing discussions and planning that came out in reverse. Failure to launch, couldn't get things going. <laughs> what else for? So yeah, I feel like this person is losing friends, family members, people that they were planning or discussing things with, or they had rallied up to kind of like bring you down in a sense or whatever the fuck. I'm getting like smear campaign, flying monkeys. This that's the shit narcissists do. What's not 100% with the with cover up and meeting in reverse? So it's like now they didn't cut off. Yeah, anxiety. They're scared. They know they're about to get yeah. They know they're about to get the fuck embarrassed, anxiety, scared, panic. And then we have cleansing, meditation, clearing space, removing negativity. Yeah, this could be somebody in your family. This is a third party. <laughs> this family member, blood ties, inner circle. So you guys can have children that connect you to, okay, karmic, third party relationship lesson. Yeah, this person is a karmic to you and they want to be a divine masculine so bad or divine feminine or whatever. Yeah, this... <laughs> I cannot with this person. They have really lost their goddamn mind. <laughs> this reading is so funny. So, okay. So we have name all the things you love. Are you one of them? Okay, today's mantra. I give myself all the love and attention I need. Okay, period. Are you one of those things that you love, Leo? I think you are. Period. What if it isn't true? The thing you are telling yourself right now, the concrete reason why you think you don't belong, you can't do it, you won't get there, you're not enough, or it's not for you. What if it isn't true? Today's soul action is time for a soul chat. Close your eyes, put your hands on your heart, and ask the wise one within you. What if it isn't true? What else might be possible? Journal your answer. What lie do I need to let go of to reach my soul's truth? Okay, period. Period. Okay, so don't speak negativity about yourself. Okay, Leo? Speak positive. Be high-vibed. Okay, I feel like you are. Maybe this is this bitch. <laughs> they need to fucking sit there and say, what if it isn't true? Because they're the ones projecting this negativity. I don't feel like it's you. But anyways... <laughs> Okay, um, this is your reading, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on. Make sure you guys press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings for when I post. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.